countries across the globe have issued travel warnings while others have put measures in place or expanded according intended to control the flow of people to and from China, where the authorities are struggling to contain the outbreak of the new coronavirus. In the studio, we are joined by Dr. Kalumbi Shangola, the Minister of Health and Social Services, to brief us on how we are doing in this regard. A very good evening to you, Minister, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. Good evening and good evening, evening viewers. Firstly, let us start off with defining or explaining to our viewers what the coronavirus is. Because believe it or not, um, I read earlier on the internet today that uh, there were searches on Google where people were connecting the coronavirus to a very popular beer called Corona Extra from, from, from Mexico. So this, this already just gives the impression yeah. that many people don't really understand uh, what it is. So just uh, briefly talk to us about that. Um, coronavirus is one of the virus which, is, which has actually been uh, detected now in China. It's, it's actually called novel because it's a new type of virus. Um, it is a virus like all other uh, viruses, but this one, it's specific that the pri when the primary source is the animals and birds, but it can also be transmitted from human to human. And therefore, uh, it is very important that uh, citizens take extra measures to prevent themselves from contracting mm. novel coronavirus. And what are these extra measures? Well, we have issued, as a ministry, we have issued uh, a statement uh, to the Namibian public to tell them exactly what they need to, to do. Um, as I mentioned, that it can spread from a person to a person mm -hmm. through a respiratory tract. It's like flu, it's a flu-like, you know, type of disease. And one of the most important thing to do is that one has always to wash the hands. Whether you are going to eat or whether you are not going to eat, make sure that you maintain personal hygiene because the hand is the most active, you know, part of your body. You scratch your ears, you, you scratch your, 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 your your, your, your nose, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. all, all parts of the body. So the, the, uh, and especially when it comes to the mouth. So the, the, the hands are very important for us in our daily activities. And therefore we must always make sure that they are ever clean. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the state of readiness in Namibia and what are the specific measures <coughs> that uh, the ministry uh, together with all the other stakeholders have put in place? Well, as you know that in Namibia, well, this is not the first outbreak which is occurring in the world. There have been um, uh, previous outbreaks like severe uh, uh, acute respiratory syndrome, SARS. SARS. Mm -hmm. There have been Ebola in West Africa. There have been Ebola also in the DRC. Um, there have been many outbreaks in the world. So all along we have been prepared for any eventualities. So what have happened now in this uh, advent of uh, coronavirus, we have activated our national health emergency committees at national level and at regional level. We ha one of the most important thing is to explain to the public what the disease is, how to prevent uh, the disease. We have taken extra measures because there are travelers coming to Namibia. And therefore, we have taken spe specific measure at the inter uh, Jose Kotaku International Airport, where many travelers are arriving into Namibia. Uh, we have a team of uh, our experts stationed there. Those people who are arriving into Namibia, they are checked their temperature, to, and they are also taken their travel history. Mm -hmm. Before we continue, let's just uh, quickly check out some of our Facebook comments. Uh, we went to social media, of course, and asked you, the viewers, what you, of what you think of the uh, coronavirus and how it might affect us. And this is what some of you had to say. France says traveling to those destinations must be put on hold until the outbreak has been contained. In the meanwhile, take precautionary measures at all times. 
Luki says the Namibian government has done good so far in terms of disease control of pandemic outbreaks. What they have to do is create awareness and educate the public on the symptoms and preventative measures, including screening incoming passengers, especially at airports. Our last comment is from Eno, who says that traveling to affected areas must be banned. We must have specialists at all international airports to screen all people coming to Namibia. Mr. Minister, what do you make to some of those comments? Some of them actually echoing what you just uh, mentioned now. The, the, the comments are very positive, and I fully agree with most of them. Uh, there is one reservation when it comes to travel. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we rely on a WH, WHO advice, and so far WHO has not declared a ban on traveling. But I agree with the comments that one has to be circumspection into to say where are you traveling yeah if what is advised not to travel to the hot spot where the disease is most prevalent but it does not it's not a, a blanket ban to say people should not travel mm -hmm. we have not reached that situation yet mm -hmm. we understand that there are maybe students in the city of yuan and uh, who want to to return home uh, say any such communication being made uh, to to your ministry and well, what's the status of, of the citizens there well i must commend uh, really the government of china for the extreme measures they have put in place uh, to try to contain to contain uh, the the disease where it is occurring now my understand we are we are in co in, in, in in constant contact with the embassy of China here in Namibia, related both in terms of both our citizens who are in, in China and also the Chinese nationals who are coming to, to Namibia. But the measures which we had, the, they have taken as far as Wuhan is concerned, is that they have restricted tra uh, getting in and out of Wuhan. Mm -hmm. In other words, to contain the disease where it is now prevalent. So, but all in all, the government of China has really done quite a lot in terms of containment and uh, prevention and control. Mm -hmm. Lastly, one, uh, one, one major concern here is that when such things happen, unfortunately, there are people who uh, want to take advantage of it, maybe because uh, they, they want to have fun or whatever it, it, it may be, especially on social media. Uh, they start to spread all this fake news and create un unwarranted fear and, uh, uh, am am amongst the people. Uh, one of them is the, the latest. There was a, there was a vote, voice note that, that claims that the ministry is not having masks nor gloves um, in, 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 in stock. So if we do have a case of coronavirus, apparently the ministry will not be able uh, to, uh, to, to, to quarantine the, the affected persons. Uh, what's your take on that? And what's your message uh, to the public? Well, um, I will agree with you that it's a fake news. Uh, I'm sure that person has never made attempt to go to our uh, central medical store, to go to regional store, to go to the places where we normally keep this to assert it for himself or herself that there are no masks. I can agree that that is a fake news. As I said, we are fully prepared to deal with any, any eventuality, should any case occur uh, in Namibia. As I mentioned earlier, we, do, we did have previous cases like Crimea Congo hemorrhagic fever. So that is an extremely dangerous you know, disease. But we have been able, we had cases here in Namibia, but we have been able to, 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 to treat the, 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 the patient and even the patient survived. So in other words, we have all the necessary tools in place for any emergency. So the issue of the gloves not being there is, is fake news, as you stated. All right, Dr. Shangola, it's been a great pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, we wish you and the rest of the team all of the best. I and, just uh, want to, to caution the, the public to say, never, ever panic. The moment you panic, then your sense of judgment becomes blurred and you are likely to take on irrational decisions. Mm -hmm. So stay calm. Any new development will inform the public. All right, Dr. Shumula, thank you so much. Most thank you. And, uh, that was the Minister of Health and Social Services, Dr. Alumbi Shangula, uh, sharing with us the, the readiness of the government in handling the coronavirus and also telling us not to panic because for now they have everything under control. Meanwhile,